This is Cara Canavo coming to you live from my home office here in California. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to use the basics of the Google Plus platform. Now, everyone gets a automatically has a Google Plus account when they um, have a Gmail account. So when the, when you sign in to your Gmail account, you will see a plus sign here. See, we're not signed in yet, but you'll see this plus you sign. So this will be me. I'm going to sign in right now. I'm just going to have my main Google Plus page sign in as we speak. And as you will see, I will be signed in. Of course, my settings have it so that you can see my home page of Google, but my account will be here. It will have your name with the plus sign here. Over here, you'll see your name, your picture. You can even share right from the home page. This is really neat. Whatever I want. I don't even have to go over to my Google Plus. However, here's my notifications. This is where you will see people that have commented or added you on your G Plus profile. When you click on your name in the left hand corner of the home page of Google, you will be brought over to your news feed. Now this is the equivalent of a news feed like you would see in Facebook. It's a little bit different of a view, however, still very nice view. Google will show you all the things that people have been sharing all night. Go look at the graphics. That's an awesome picture. I'm going to give it a plus one. Sometimes Google will hang a little bit, you guys, but that's just normal. Cool. This is a plus one. I love it. I think it's great. This is just like giving a like on Facebook. And you can see all the likes that are here in the corner. There's me, Dorinda. Jason, these are all people I could add to Google Plus so far. <clears throat> now, the most important part of your Google Plus is your profile. I am going to go over here and show you all how to do your Google Plus profile. I'm going to simply click on this link. My buttons will should show up. Give it a moment again. You'll see the home button here. And here's where uh, my, my list will show up of where I want to go. Do I want to find people, profile, photos, what's hot, this, that, the other thing. I'm going to go to my profile. This is where you will be putting all of your information in so that Google can see. When you go to your profile, it's going to show this is the equivalent of being on your own profile on Facebook. This is my profile. These are all the things I have shared today. As you can see, there's lots of stuff going on. <coughs> but I'm going to click on the About section, and we're going to work a little bit on that. There's going to be boxes here. You're going to click Edit. You're going to put all of the information you want in here. You're going to get these tiny little boxes. I'm going to put, I put in a lot of information here. I took this right from my Facebook fan page off of Facebook. So all I did was copy and paste all the information that I had on my fan page and put it into my Google Plus profile. I'm going to keep this public because I am a network marketer and network marketers and internet marketers and entrepreneurs, we keep our stuff public. We want the world to see what we're doing. Here you'll have a skills button. Again, you will just want to put here what you want everyone to know your specialties are. This is very important to your profile. Again, I'm setting it as public. Employment. <clears throat> this is very important. This is what everybody will see that you are doing. This is also great for business owners. So here is my current. This is what I do now most of the time. Of course, I'm always an entrepreneur, S, and a visionary. Um, and I also put here as an internet and marketer trainer. And I put that for the year 2013. We're just going to stay current. And like I said, I'm going to only click on the first thing that I want everybody to see. Of course, everyone's going to see all this information. 
<clears throat> but again, I'm just going to click on that. So that's the first job they see in my profile. And we're going to save. Again, <clears throat> you're going to have tiny little boxes that are going to have all your information. This is your contact info. I leave this just for my circles. I could I could make it public, however, I don't I don't think it's that important. My phone number doesn't need to be public to everybody. However, if they're my friend or a circle on Google Plus, they have my number. Nobody really ever calls me from Google Plus, you guys, and that's a fact. <clears throat> Again, this is all your basic info. And I just tell everybody I'm on the web because this is where I am all the time. Save. Now over here we're going to start at the top. This is your tagline. This is what everyone's going to see when they click on your name. You know, of course I can edit my name right from my profile. Again, don't forget your picture and cover photo. These are very important. Now, my story is different. I'm just going to have a short tagline such as a quote. This is my favorite quote. quote I love John C. Maxwell. I think he's an amazing entrepreneur and an inspiring human being. My introduction is going to be small. <clears throat> and I'm just going to give a quick little introduction here. Just a little quick one. Since I put all my information over here in my occupation side of the th profile. Now, when you're adding a link, these are live links. You're going to put whatever URL you want them to go to. And you can call it whatever you want. Name this whatever you want. Again, the link isn't going to be shown. The URL won't be shown, only what you want them to see. You're going to click OK. Well, we're going to cancel this because we're not adding anything, but you would click OK. Cancel that. So this is going to be a live link for everybody to go to. That's just how I set up my profile. You guys can do it any way you want. However, the introduction is really cool because, again, you can add those links. Then you have an option for bragging rights. This is the equivalent to showing off your skills. Again, we'll put that in already down here. So don't really need to do anything here. However, it's your profile. That's up to you. Then, then you would click save. <clears throat> down here is your education. Edit. This is really mostly for colleges. This, you're not going to find people from high school here. You're going to put your college information here. Your basic information, this is a female, you're looking for networking, your birth date. Again, you have an edit button. You will see all of this coming up here. You can tell people who you are. Again, it, you choose to make that public or not. This will be public for me. <clears throat> my birthday will be for my circles only. Relationship and etc. Save. Now, here is one of the most important parts of your profile as well. I, I like to go over this with everyone I'm training. This is going to be, you're going to edit this section. You are going to add whatever you want people to go to. You can have them going to multiple different places at once. What's so great about this is there's no limit. There's no limit to this. You are going to add a custom link you're going to see this everywhere you go you're going to call it whatever you want like for instance I could call it my fun page <clears throat> then my, my URL might be like myfunpage.com okay and you would come down here and you would save you don't have to save right away but that is something you want to do and again you can add as many custom links as you'd like this is so awesome. I've seen some people's profiles that have like 10 to 20 different URLs here. Okay, so keep those in mind. And that's how you will do that. Okay, now. I can, and now Google's going to tell me I have found some public pages that you can add to your profile, but I've already done that and I'll show you where those are down here. It might be probably smart if I added them here. I could do that. But again, Google's going to do it for me, and I just added that myself. There you go. These are business pages that I manage, by the way, <clears throat> so it's okay to have them there. Now, 
I'm a contributor to these three websites. However, I do not own them, so all I am is a contributor. Again, you're going to go here. You're going to edit the link. You can call it whatever you want. Here is the URL that's going to redirect them. All they're going to see is this part. They're not going to see this part. They're only going to see this part. It's the same when you're adding the links up here. Okay? And again, you know, you just going to leave that alone. You're a comma comment contributor, yes. I could say past contributor just to give people an idea of what my resume is. Again, I do not own any of these websites. I am just a contributor to them in one way or another. Again, I can add as many custom links as I'd like. Down here, <coughs> these are also links. Again, these profiles are like your business profiles, whether it's your web page, like such as a blog, branded page, uh, capture page. I mean, you know, usually I don't add my capture pages here. I just, these are my other profiles on the web. So, of course, we're talking social networking. Um, we're going to take these out because these are not my pages. Yes, I do manage them. However, I don't need them there. But I do want to redirect people to my Facebook, to my Twitter, and my Pinterest. <coughs> Again, we went through the contributor badge. Coming down to links going to add a custom link. Again, you can add as many as you would like. There is no limit on Google Plus to how much information you can put in. Okay, this is so awesome. So again, you're going to click this link and whatever every, whatever you want everybody to see is what they're going to go to. Okay, they're not going to see this URL. They're only going to see this part. This is what's so special about Google Plus. People miss out on this all the time. But again, your your URLs are not going to be seen. They're on whatever you want them to see. Okay, so when they go to click on social media mastery, they're going to be sent to this URL. But again, the URL will be hidden. <laughs> this is so awesome. And again, you can add as many custom links as you would like. When you are done doing that, you are going to click save. And now you can look at <coughs> what your profile looks like. Look at how good and great that doesn't that look nice? It's perfect. I love it. Take me a little time to get there, but you guys can have your, your Google Plus profile set up in a matter of 25, 30 minutes max. Now down here, these are the apps I allow to interact with my Google Plus profile. Um, those get added as you go. It really all depends on what you are looking, what you are allowing to interact with your Google Plus page. Now that you have your Google Plus profile all set up and ready to go. Google is going to show you people that you may know. Now if you're very new, they will walk you through it. If you already have a little bit of a Google Plus page set up, what you are going to do <coughs> is come to the home page. But first, before we go to the home page, I just want to point out, you can view profile as yourself. Make sure this says yourself because otherwise if it's on public, which is there, Google Plus lets you look at it as if you were looking at it from someone else's eyes. So always make sure this is this is clicked off as yourself. Otherwise, you will not be able to edit your profile. I'm going to click public, and this is what everyone is is seeing, as if I was just looking around and seeing, hey, what's Cara Canavo all about? And again, looks this is what they're seeing. I like it. Looks pretty good. I approve. I'm going to come back to myself so that I'll be able to edit and do the things I need to do. What I'm going to do now that my, my profile is set up, nice picture, cover photo, about, storyline, this, that. Now, here's a new feature I, I want to just add really quick. You can allow people to see who are in your circles. This is the equivalent of either allowing people on your Facebook page to see your friends list. I hide my friends list on Facebook because I have had problems before where people will try to steal my friends only to get them in their business, which I think is really not a good way of marketing. So I have to protect my friends and family. Um, can't protect them all all the time. Of course, if they're commenting and liking stuff on Facebook, I can't hide that, but I can hide my circles on, on Google. Um, I actually like people to see my circles because Google's going to show people relevant to them anyway. So it's not a big deal on Google Plus to have them show. Plus I like to let people know how many people I have in my circles. And now I'm saving. 
so now you'll see all of my information will be right here in my co like right next to my photo and on my cover photo <laughs> this is so cool okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home remember this bar this is important you guys because if everybody goes oh I don't know where I'm gonna go to my profile if you simply click on this little home page this little home icon you're going to see a list right here this is so awesome okay now when I'm on my home page which is like again this is the equivalent of a Facebook news feed this is Google Plus's news feed and Google Plus is going to show me people that I know I'm going to click on view more and here are the suggestions Google is going to send show me people relevant to the information I have put into my profile as well as people who are mutual friends of people in my circles and uh, this this gentleman is somebody he has four people in his circles when I click on the number it's going to show me who they are this is really cool then I can just add all day I can just add him to my profile with no issues now I could go check him out to see what he's all about which I would I would just click on his name before I added him for instance and I look and see what's he all about he works at Nexus breakingnexus.com uh, he's already in my circle because I just added him <laughs> but right here you would normally see not in your circles and you could add right from here as well you're gonna see who's in his circles he's got a thousand five hundred eighty four people so he's he, he's building a Google, uh, um, his profile really well now if I was really curious about what was going on I usually go to everybody's about me section this is why this is so important he's got a great tagline I'm like Charlie Sheen without the dagger blood interesting introduction some suggested circles you can put me in photography Orlando tech okay we'll go over circles in just a moment and here he has quite the the detailed analysis of what he wants everybody to see again you can have this stuff on the right hand side or you can choose to put it on the left I, I choose to put it over here because I, I like it better over here but it's your Google Plus profile so either put all this information here over here or, key, or do what he did and have it on the right hand side either way people are still looking at your stuff okay his interests are his communities he has all his communities here these are neat we'll go over communities in another training but for now we're just checking them out so he's got a lot of links here these are his other profiles he's a contributor to these two websites he's got all his links here so he's a pretty busy guy he's got 9,000 people in his circle so it's nice to have him in mind because he will lead me to other people just like him again I can add people right from his circles this is gonna give me a preview he's a startup junkie he works at Reb rocket.co he's in La Jolla California looks pretty interested he got 11 people in common I am going to add him to my friends and my following list let's go back <coughs> and we'll go back one more page <laughs> oh there we go now this is the page I want you all to see so again Google's giving me suggestions of people I may know okay and I can do this all day long now Google's gonna show you either the same people but they're also going to show you different people according to what they have put into their profile so I can just go on she's an internet marketer now she's somebody who's in my niche so I'm just gonna follow now here is where you create a new circle you can create as many circles as you want again this is the equivalent to like a Facebook list so I'm I add circles all the time like my family you know um, again just um, haven't figured out how to get rid of your circles yet but uh, in, in other words just create a circle of friends and family or, or friends and other network marketers or internet marketers whatever you want to call them you can create that circle and then when you're posting I will show you that in just a moment you will be able to post to whatever circle is relevant to that post again you don't want to be spamming the whole world so this is the same thing as you know having a Facebook list on Facebook when you're trying to market towards your niche again it, there's no limit to how many people you can add to your profile okay this guy calls himself a fitness enthusiast artist he's got five people in common here's Edward he's a great friend and business partner of mine 
So, you know, he this guy could be somebody I want to know. I'm not really impressed with his Facebook. I mean, his picture. But, you know, I'm not going to be mean about it. So let me just add him to my profile just to show you guys. I can do this all day long. Friends following. Remember, I'm on the page where Google is suggesting to me who I know, who I would want to know. So Google is going to put people in front of me, again, that is relevant to the information that I have put into my About Me section. Here is Anne. She calls herself, excuse me, a social media consultant who blogs about travel, inspiration, leisure, and social media. She looks pretty interesting. I'm just going to follow her. And she, she may, they will get notified that I added them to a circle. And now, again, I have more people coming down here. Here's a Catherine Rogers. She's an internet marketing entrepreneur. She's got eight people in common with me, people that I actually know and admire, um, like. So yes, I will add her to my circle and I will do this all day long. Here's a Betty. She's got five people in common with me. I'm going to add her to my friends and my following circles. And I do this all day long, by the way. <clears throat> this is how I get people in my circles that are either in my niche or interesting people to me. And again, they're going to do the same for you. Now, excuse me, it is getting late. I'm doing this late for you guys, but I really wanted to get one of these Google Plus trainings out and recorded so everyone can come to these to watch. Now, if I, in, for instance, I'm in Evolve Health, if I wanted to find people that were in Evolve Health, I would find them. But for some reason, no suggestions you can add. Okay, so there isn't a whole lot of people on Google Plus that are using Evolve Health. Um, but if I clicked on multiple streams of income college, no suggestions either. So again, I would just come back here and let Google do the work for me. Okay, now <clears throat> let's go to my home page and let's talk about um, sharing on Google Plus. Here's a nice picture. Um, I think it's really cool. She says it's wonderful. Then she put a link in. And you'll notice there's a hashtag. These hashtags are important. Now, Google is going to automatically make a hashtag up for you if you haven't automatically put one in. But for these purposes, I am going to... And again, <laughs> well, for these purposes, we're not going to click on this. We're not going to add her. But I'm going to show you guys another... Um, a post that does have a nice hashtag in it. Again, here this is your home page. Google's going to show you people you may know right here in your home page. It's also going to show you the community invitations that you have. You know, again, excuse me, I have been invited to home business. <clears throat> this looks like a pretty cool community. I can go visit it. And it will tell me how many people are in it. There's 382 people in my niche in this one community. I'm going to accept the invitation. I am going to say thank you for the invitation, Judy. She was the one who invited me. Whoops. Thank you for the invite. I'm going to click the shift plus button, okay? This is going to do a tag. This is the equivalent to tagging people in your Facebook. Thank you for the invite. I am happy to connect with like-minded people. Looking forward to reading all of your posts. Have a great night. Have a great night. And I always sign off my signature, which is KC. Share. Now, this is obviously going to only send this only to this community. So the only people who will see this is this community, unless it is a public community, then it may show up on my page. But no big deal. And again, about this community, they're going to have an About Me section.
a note that all bogus, unverified, or scam work at home affiliate businesses. So, you know, you really want to read the about me sections in these communities because you don't want to be known as the spammer, okay? Your reputation online is really all you have. So make sure you're doing integrity marketing and not just spamming the wall. I have a community of my own, but again, that's for another day. Let's go home. I'm going to sh show you guys how to do a little sharing. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look and see if there's any relevant content that I might want to share with my people. So I'm going to keep looking. This doesn't look like much is going on tonight. But you got to love the graphics here because there is a lot of stuff going on around here. <laughs> and of course you have the same person. You'll see him posting you know, you don't want to be the person who's posting the same post over and over. Google will mar will mark that as spam, okay, themselves. You don't have to have anybody saying it is. Google will say, this is too much, you need to stop. I'm just trying to find something relevant. I've seen this picture before. This is beautiful. I'm going to like it. I'm going to give it a plus. I'm going to share. Again, here's my circle. Now, I can share this to any circle list I have. Or I can choose to share this in any of the communities I'm a part of. These are the equivalent of Facebook groups. And of course, you can see I'm a part of a lot of communities. But for these purposes, I am going to save it. Oh, I'm going to share it to the public, which everyone will get. Also, make sure that the people in my circles will see it and the people that are in their circles will see it. <laughs> okay, my friends list, following. They're going to show me all the relevant people and technology. That's just because I want everybody to see this post. I'm going to say this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Love. I, well, we'll go back and say I love a starry night. I love a starry night. Thank you for sharing. All I'm going to do is share. That's it. <laughs> That's all I had to do. So I gave it a plus and I shared this. Now I can view. I can actually view it. And it, this is what it looks like on my page. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's only going to show you that one post. So we're going to come back home. Now, say I was going to share a YouTube link or something like that. Let's go over that real quick. Okay. Now, I'm going to do an extra tab. I'm going to go to my home page. Just give it a minute. Sometimes Google hangs up on itself. If we could just let them... Sometimes Google will do stuff like this. All I'm trying to do is go to the home because I just wanted to share a link with somebody. I mean, I wanted to show you guys how to share your own links here on Google. And like, again, you're going to have this share what's new. I could write, hope everyone is doing well. You know, um, I could do this. I could say, hope everyone is doing well this evening. And for these purposes, instead of waiting for Google to do this, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go on the fly. Hope everyone is doing well this evening. Whoops. Of course, I don't want to have any misspellings, but the great thing about Google Plus uh, posts is you can go back and edit them. <laughs> and unlike Facebook, where you'll have a mess of, like me, if you're like me, and you're rushing around, and you're trying to make a post, and you're going to have those misspells, you can't go back and change it. <laughs> You'd have to delete the whole post. Whereas in Google, you can edit your post. I'm going to say, how is everyone doing this evening? Please check out my good friends and business partner over at Page Domination. And then what I'm going to do is add a link and I'm going to put the actual now you can copy and paste links but for these purposes because Google's taking its time on the other tab I'm going to just I manually put it in I'm going to add it and then watch Google's going to take the URL out 
and all you're going to see is the preview and I'm going to share that to all my circles now you have this option to send email to your circles I don't suggest doing that because that's unwanted mail that's considered spam and you're just going to annoy people who don't really care <laughs> I'm going to let everyone in my circles see and you really don't need to have everything checked off you really don't if you, <laughs> you, if, if you already say public in your circles they're all going to get it whatever circles you have However, not everyone that you're following is going to see and, you know, in, in their extended circles. And, of course, I want to promote this page, so I'm going to share. There we go. Okay, so that's going to get more eyeballs on their stuff. Okay, so that's how you share. Now, you can share video right from YouTube, and YouTube will say, you know, which one. You can enter a URL. You can go your YouTube videos. This is what's so awesome, okay? Google is going to, I mean, yeah, because Google and YouTube are the same. Um, so it's really cool. You can share your YouTube videos right here from your posts. You can also record a video. You can record right from here. This is so cool. Or you can upload a video, but we're going to cancel because we don't want to record right now. We're in the middle of a training. So <clears throat> basically, I'm going to just cancel because I don't want to share anything right now. But you can also share events. Now, this is so cool because, you know, when you have an event or a webinar, you can share that as well. Okay. Now, let's talk about hashtags. Let's come down here. Here, here's a hashtag, pound marketing. Now, the greatest thing about Google Plus and their hashtags is Google Plus loves hashtags. Hashtags are, 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 are so amazing on Google Plus. This is how you get to find people in your niche. When you're looking to target people that you want to join your business or that you want to promote with or that you just want to have like-minded people, you are going to come over here. Now, what's great about this, here's marketing. People and pages. Google is going to put people in my face that they think I want to know. This looks cool. I'm going to add, man. I'm going to add. I like marketing. Marketing Magazine looks awesome. I love the name of Marketing Land, social media, online advertising. You guys, this is my niche. This is so cool. This goes on all day and night. I mean, I'm here. This is crazy to me. You couldn't get any more targeted than right now using these hashtags, okay? When you're looking to connect with people, do not underestimate the power of hashtag. Don't, okay? So with that being said, you know, click away. And like I said, there is no limit, okay, to people in pages over here. People love this stuff, okay? Now I can come over here and I'm going to say, oh, okay, sell market, mobile marketing for business. Hey, catchy title. He's got his little thing, you know, his little um, website right, right in his video. He's got his phone number. This is great marketing. I'm going to like it. I think it's great. And all I had to do was click on a hashtag to find this, okay? Hashtags are huge. And all it was was marketing. Now, they're going to show me all kinds of stuff. I could come over here and let's click on blogging. Now I'm going over to everyone who used the hashtag blogging. And I'm going to find interesting content. Now, I find a lot of content here that I share on Facebook. People don't understand the power of Google Plus when it comes to this stuff. Look, this looks like interesting information. Somebody might want to know how to remove Powered by Blogger from Blogger Blog, you know, if you don't want that hyperlink there. Um, again, this is all from a hashtag. So if I was a blogger, which some of us are, some of us are not, but if you were, this is how you get people in your niche. You're going to find people like this on Google Plus all day long. It's so much more sophisticated than Facebook, so much more integrative, so much more intuitive. Um, and this is why I enjoy Google Plus a lot because, again, I can find people in my niche. Now, I can click right from somebody's post. I'm going to click on another hashtag. <laughs> They're going to bring me to social media. I'm just going to flip through. 
Six ways to use embedded tweets to help your business. Looks pretty cool. I like Social Media Examiner. I am already following them. Great, great stuff. I already know I like it. <laughs> of course, I want you guys to look at the stuff that you're liking. But, and this is all just from a hashtag. How to embed posts. Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Vine, Social. This is really neat information. Do I have this gentleman in my circles? I don't believe I do. So I'm going to add him in my circles because he actually looks pretty interesting. He's got a nice photo. He's got a great cover photo. He's an online marketing author and expert. I like it. I'm going to plus one. I'm also going to say interesting information. Wait a minute. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, I lost him. What did Google do to me? I need to click on social media. Okay. Because I <laughs> lost it. Uh. Oh, I must join this community to... Okay, so he must... He posted this, obviously, to a community. So let's go view it. No wonder I had some issues. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this will take me right over to a community. Focusing on social media marketing is other ways. Now... This is my niche. Now, I'm trying to learn how to be a better social media marketing especially marketer, especially because I manage fi um, a bunch of fi um, business pages. For okay, so this looks awesome. I'm going to join, and I'm going to say to him, I found this. I found to be very informative. Let's just for tonight's sake pretend like I did read it, but I already know this is going to be something I <laughs> would read and would like find very valuable. I found this article to be very informative and valuable. Thank you for the share and I am looking forward to more the best and then I'm going to sign it off with KC because that's my signature right that's how I always 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 do this but we're going to fix my spelling now say I was to post this you guys <laughs> I can come right here and there's an edit button okay now somebody can plus one my comment just like they would like my comment on Facebook so you know, and then here's all of the topics. Now, this is awesome. Look at all that content marketing. Wow, I'm really glad I found this um, this uh, community. So, this is exciting for me. <laughs> There's 48,000 people here. So, if you guys can't find stuff that, I mean, this is information super highway stuff right now. I mean, I'm like out of my mind right now. I'm like, whoa, Google Plus Pros Tips Community. I love that. So I'm going to read the policy. Welcome to the Google Plus social media strategy community, a great place to talk about all possible uses of social media in the internet, in the internet for both your personal and business needs. Okay, very cool. This is a heavily moderated, curated community. We are open to any and all that would like to talk tips, tricks, news, and business. Sounds really cool. So this is like the equivalent of having a Facebook group. But we will do, for another day, I will do um, a training just on communities one day and then I'm going to do another training just on pages okay so look for a live link for that but for tonight um, I just wanted to go over some of the basics so um, hopefully you guys found this helpful if you have any questions please don't be afraid to find me here on Google Plus my name is Cara Canavo you can find me on Facebook I'll show you my link you can find me on Facebook you could just go to my About Me section and you will find me on Facebook. You can find me here. You can find me on Twitter. So if I hope that this you guys found this to be of value, please share. I know that there is a ton of people who are wanting to learn Google+. If you think I could do better or if there was any more information you would like to know, please don't be afraid to ask questions and give me any feedback that you would like. So with that being said, have a great night. And uh, see you guys on the next training.